Dags, the Great White Light, WBO Oriental and International Champ, and you're watching the Glad Rap Champ. All right, here we are with Marcus. Should I do it here? Yeah, Marcus. Marcus, quick two minutes. Yeah, no worries, man. No worries. Uh, man, good, good head movement, good, good jabs. How did you assess that? What are your thoughts coming out of that? Um, yeah, it was just, I mean, looking at that first round, knowing that um, I, I had the speed, you know, um, so it was just a chance, uh, just an opportunity to pick him apart, really. But huge credit to Peach Boxing and to, to Omar for stepping up on late notice and giving me a chance to get out on the show. So really respect that, bro. You're, you're a legend. How do you feel out there? How, do you, how did you assess yourself, your skills? Do you feel your levels above? Yeah, I, I, feel, I definitely feel like, you know, like I said in our last interview, that definitely improving fight by fight. And, um, you know, tonight it's just, I guess, uh, the icing on the cake to show, you know, the power's there, the speed. The head movement, like you say, so yeah, feeling, feeling good. <laughs> so you know, you you know, the, they threw in the towel. Did you think that was the right move? I mean, did you feel like you know it was going to end anyway? Yeah, I mean, like he's a, he's got a chin of iron. You know, he, he stood after all those punches. So you know, I'm not sure he would have gone down. So it's, that's when it's up to the your team to, to save your fighter because you know we all we all go out on our shield. You know, we're fighters for a reason. So um, no, yeah, he's a champ. True champ took all those shots. The body looks good. You don't look like you're banged up at all. I mean, I don't see any black eyes. Do you? How do you feel? I feel good. Um, yeah, he definitely. You know, he was he was swinging, and um, I could feel that weight in his punches. But you know, I just had to engage with the head and, and a bit, move a bit more, and and um, he's just hitting the air. So I feel good. Yeah. Two more. So you know, you you were calm in there. Is that intentional? Like, do you feel like you got to calm yourself down just to get that game plan? Yeah, for sure. If you if you go in there too hyped up and too you know, you stop breathing, you stop, you know, doing what you, you're trained to do from day one. So definitely stay calm and, um, you know, take it as it comes. And did you follow your dad's advice, go to the body? I saw you do I, that. Actually. I feel like I did. Yeah. You know, he's probably still going to critique me on that, but I feel like I did. Yeah, no, he did. <laughs> he got some good body shots. Were you proud of his performance? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely, yes. <laughs> I mean, Omar, you know, he, he took those body shots like they were nothing. So, you know, it was good. Hits off to him. It was an exciting fight, man. Uh, yes. Do you know what's next or just for now, just relax for now? Um, I'm not going to leave the cat out of the bag just yet, but yeah, we're definitely lining something up for August. Hopefully a title fight, so yeah, you'll, you'll be hearing from me then. And give a, give a message to your fans out there. Oh, uh, thank you all for tuning in. And I was very, very, very late notice. Uh, again, thanks to Omar for stepping up. And uh, cheers, guys. Thanks for supporting me. And uh, have a good night. Thanks, Jim. Thank you so thank much, you man. Much. Thank you.